Hello there, back at my new favourite site. Uh, first dig of the day, have a look in this hole, see what's there. Quite a nice George the fifth half penny from let's just have a look at the date. Nineteen thirty-two. Good start. Bit of a sketchy signal this one, but there's something in here. And it's a old threepenny bit. Another half penny. Another George the Fifth. I've already found about five or six of them this morning. I haven't video with them all because it's. It's pretty clear what I'm going to get when I um, hear the signal and see the reading on the machine. Another George the fifth halfpenny. This is the hole I've just dug. This is a new hole. Something in here. And it's a George the fifth. Sixpence. Fairly worn, 1922. It's the most worn piece of silver I've had so far from this site. Still nice though. Well, there's not as many coins down this path than there was at the top end of the field. There's still some. This is... Ooh, it's an Edward. Edward the Seventh. Edward the Seventh. Don't find many of those coins, and I found two today. That's pretty good. It's not actually in bad nick either. Looks like it's been hit with something at some point, but... Uh, you can still read it. 19... 1910. Mm, it's a... George V shilling. 1933. Very nice. This one's right on the top. The probe actually detected it through the soil. And this one's a little bit older. It's a Queen Victoria old head. And the date on that is 1897. This is another one, another old penny right near the top. Can't be more than oh, an inch under the ground. I'm quite near the river though, so the river might have been wearing away a bit of the bank side. That one is King Edward VII. So it's going to be early 1900s. I'm not going to scrape it off, it's going to be very early 1900s. Just come along the path next to the side of the river and there's a George the Fifth Threepenny bit. And this is a three pence. It's silver, but it's very black. It'll clean up nicely though. I think it's 1922. 
looks a little bit older than the George and it's another Edward. Edward the Seventh. Lovely tone to it. And the date on that reads 1902. It's a little one. It's a, it's a farthing. It's the first farthing I found, believe it or not. Um, and it's Edward the... No, George the Sixth. George the Sixth Farthing. So it'll be mid last century. It's uh, another sixpence. Is it a sixpence? Yeah. Nineteen. 26 Lovely condition actually George V With a nice bit of silver Aha it's a florin, very good. 1936, silver. That'll be George the fifth. Marvellous. Very good. So today I found a threepenny bit, a sixpence, a shilling and a florin. Marvellous. Pleased with that. Not sure that what this one is. It's dated 1737 anyway. See the date on the bottom there? 1737, looks like it's got two crossed paddles or something or other. Can't see a head on the back. I'll give it a light clean up, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more detail than that on it. Maybe a token of some sort. Very strange. Here's a quick recap of what I've found. First of all, we've got a cap badge from Royal Kent something or other and I can't read the rest It'd be an army thing I would imagine there's a little badge there with an anchor on and BB which may be boys brigade I'm not entirely sure and then we're into the coins so starting with the coins we've got a really old one this is I think actually a Norwegian one it's 1737. Looks like it's got two oars or something across there and I O R S M written. I'm not sure what that is, but it's very old. Good that you can read the date on. And then in chronological order, there's a young Victoria half penny, old Victoria pennies, Edward the Seventh. Half pennies, Edward the Seventh pennies, George the Fifth half pennies, George the Fifth pennies, then we're on to George the Sixth threepenny bits. There's a farthing there with a wren on. None of these coins are in particularly good nick. I, I tend not to bother cleaning any of the coppery things because it's not worth it. You tend to destroy them. Um, George the sixth half pennies. Elizabeth the second shilling. And Elizabeth the second old penny. Modern one pences. Found those right in the middle of the field, strangely. A modern 10 pence, which is the precursor to the one we use now. 1927 sixpence, chopped in half for whatever reason. Must have been short of money, must have wanted a threepenny bit and decided I'll just chop a sixpence in half. 
1921 silver threepenny bid. There's a couple of sixpences. This one is 1922. Quite worn that one. George V. This one's just in excellent condition. 1926. Look at that. You think it had just been pressed? Again, George V. There's a 1933 shilling, which again is in excellent condition. It's another George V one. Marvellous. And last but not least is a 1936 florin, which again is in beautiful condition. That's also George V. So they are silver, these ones aren't. These ones are worth something, these ones aren't. There you have it, in total there's 51 coins. There's actually 51 and a half if you count this half one, but I don't think we will count that one. So 51 coins, five of which are silver. So that's like more or less 10%. Pretty good, I'm pleased with that. So that's the finds from the latest dig. Pretty awesome, the site is just the site that keeps giving. I wasn't expecting to find anywhere near as many today as I did yesterday, um, but I actually found more. Only found one florin, but um, still found six, well five and a half, silver coins, found six yesterday, so that's very, very good indeed. Uh, I can't wait to get back on that site. It's really excellent. Most of the coins came from roughly 10 to 12 inches down. So using the E-Track, which does have a bit of a reputation for depth, and also the 18-inch coil really give me an advantage. All the coins give really good signals. There's a few iffy signals, which I dug. Some were coins, some weren't. But um, a very good dig. Thanks for watching.